Happy holidays, everyone, to celebrate the season and show my appreciation and thanks for all of your support. I am offering a 25% off coupon and I hope everyone has a merry, merry season filled with joy, love, and laughter. Aquarius, welcome to your reading. We're looking at your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions. The overall energy at the bottom of the deck coming into the reading is Aries energy. Your person just feels very excited, very pumped up, very much like you're the person they desire the most. Aries energy, just that you really are the sharp end of the sword that you really are that person who goes after your dreams. They find you intensely sexy. We get the Three of Swords. There's been some sort of heartache. You might have been separated by time or distance with for any number of reasons. So I'm just reading that as separation right now. The relationship that you have that your person wants with you is a long-term commitment. Hierophant card. We look at the energy that Spirit is telling you is coming into the relationship. It's overwhelm and plenty. And that is Taurus energy. That is very much Taurus energy. Your person also has a deep sense of respect, calm, when they think about the relationship and how there's been some sort of separation for the two of you. Again, that can be being on different continents. It could be... You know, the way the world is today when they put blocks on the border. So I, I'm really not reading that as a third-party situation at this point. But we'll find out. We also get the whale song resonating. That they truly love you. They know what they want. They want to be with you. And they want to get over this uh, feeling of not having you. So Aquarius, when we look at the energy of how they think about the situation... They feel very much underwater. They feel as though they're, somebody's walked away here, whether it's uh, they think of you, this is their thoughts about you. So they're not quite sure where you stand with them. It doesn't look like you've really left the relationship, more like they don't know if you're going to. I get them seeing you as very strong. This is Leo energy. We have Scorpio, we have Virgo, Gemini, we have Sagittarius. Eight of Cups is Pisces, and the Moon is Pisces. So your person just looks really uncertain about like what you're going to do. They don't see you doing anything, but they do know that you need to give up some sort of a burden. They do know that you've had to leave something behind, and they know that from all appearances, they want this. Your person um, feels as though you want this relationship. But they're just not sure if there's something brewing under the surface of your relationship that's going to make you walk away. In terms of how they feel in their heart space, we see victory, Leo energy, with the Ten of Coins, a legacy marriage. In their heart space, that's what they want with you. That's what they don't have currently because we do see the movement of wands and we see this release energy, the judgment card, Scorpio energy. Your person is feeling as though they want this energy of a victory in a relationship. For some of you, if, if there's anybody here that's married, and I imagine there is, it does look like there is the requirement that you leave a relationship to be with them. And that has them all up in their head. And that you have to have your freedom. But in their heart space, this can go either way. But we do see a marriage and we do see the Knight of Wands energy. Which is in and out energy. Energy of a lot of freedom. So, and we do have the Three of Swords. So I do think that there is a very strong likelihood that there is... Um, a mixing or mingling of singlehood and you know, somebody being committed. But we do see that your person in their heart space feels as though they have to let go of player energy. We feel that, you know, if they want to have this hopes and dreams for love coming true with you, they have to come in with this um, King of Pentacles energy, Taurus energy, marriage energy, daddy energy. They have to give you stability. They need to dedicate themselves to a legacy marriage. And this is what they want, okay? This is their heart space. This is their deepest, deep felt desire. 
And so this is where they're at in their heart space with you. Aquarius, there you are in your reading. Absolutely stunning. You know, the, the hopes and dreams for love coming true, the enlightened person that they see in front of them, somebody with whom they desperately want a victory because of this judgment card. They can't imagine choosing anybody else. When we look at the energy of their intentions, Aquarius, we see this person manifesting the star card again. We have the star here and here. So they really feel as though you're the rock star of empresses. The empress is a rock star always. But the empress is always also a married person. So they feel as though in their intentions that when we get the Libra queen, that your person is making a head over heart decision about what they can give you. Can they be enough for you? Can they give to you adequately? And we see this sort of spying on you, researching, uh, looking for answers, seeking enlightenment in a very balanced way. And right now, the Nine of Swords is that they're very, very worried. They're very much up in their head. They feel very much that they have to be in this meditative energy. They feel as though, you know, there is a, an absolutely stunning potential for what the two of you could have together that you resonate so strongly. But right now, you know, they're losing sleep and they're trying to meditate. They're trying to get balanced and find answers. But this is the intention of, honey, I'm home. Honey, I'm coming home to the Empress. I'm coming home to my rock star. You know, that is the chariot card moving forward very quickly into a relationship with you. Now, their actions are very interesting. It looks like they're on the surface. They're coming towards you very slowly, but they have a lot to say to you. They want to tell you their intentions with you. They want to tell you that they love you. They're very worried, though. The moon card says that they very much are worried about appearing too emotional. They don't want to overwhelm you with emotion. They don't want you to turn your back and walk away. So there is a certain trepidation or fear that they have that you might leave them behind, Aquarius. The temperance card says that they want to act as the alchemist. They want to make an offer. This is really an offer for a date and an offer to discuss the relationship and what they want out of the relationship. So their actions are going to be very much fast movement um, after a lot of slow movement to tell you how they feel and to tell you that they want you and they want to make it work you know but they are they are in this sort of energy of uh, feeling like oh if this doesn't work I don't know what I'm gonna do so there is a bit of fear and trepidation but again they are trying to still their worries and their fears Aquarius so the energy here is that you have someone who will not be stopped from making the approach, but they're not necessarily making this approach with the confidence that they wish they had. They feel as though in some ways that certainly if there is a third party situation that you may not even trust them. So there's a lot of worry here, Aquarius, and you know we're going to look and see what the outcome for you is in this relationship reading what are the messages from spirit about the outcome of this a love relationship love affair love attraction whatever it is to you but what we see here is we see chaos storm spirit so there's going to be a lot of chaos in this person making the decision probably possibly with that judgment card to become single to become available, to become, uh, to come towards you. So I definitely see that that is, they're very worried about what that's going to require of them. So let's see what else they have, what you have here in your outcome. Forest Temple Enlightenment. All right. Sometimes we don't really, we think we're in love, but the enlightenment comes along that until we truly resonate with someone, until we really have an overwhelming plenty of love. You know, sometimes we simply rush into a, you know, a marriage or something that doesn't serve us long term. Hummingbird spirit, joyfulness. So Aquarius, you are going to be very delighted in this relationship as you move forward. 
Um, and I'm just excited for you because this is not easy for your person to face the errors of the things that they've done incorrectly or how they've miscalculated, you know, the way they've sort of uh, put you in a situation where they're just not really sure that you would stick around or that you're going to wait for them through their delays and their slow movement. So I am broadcasting from Chicago. Please leave in the comments below where you're from, where you're watching the video from. And it's been a joy speaking with you today. And I want to thank you for watching the video. Take care. Bye-bye, Aquarius.